This video is brought to you by ASAP12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Started with double forward slash and it, of course, it only runs for a single line. Please note the space between the double forward slash is entirely optional. Um, and if, as it's a single line comment, if I try and type some stuff in here, uh, this this will not get past the compiler because because this is a single line comment. This count this everything after these double forward slashes a comment, and then it thinks this is some command you're trying to input. So that's wrong. Um, now to get around this problem, we can use uh, multi line comments, which start with a forward slash and a star. And here you can see it's hi now highlighted everything green because it's a multi-line comment. So then we can have our other stuff here. And then just close it off with the opposite of a, um, a star and a forward slash. Now, yeah, there we go. I was wondering why it went back to black. I was going, that shouldn't happen. Anyways, uh, so now we've covered comments. And just please um, know that you should generally comment your work throughout. You don't have to constantly comment. Not that I'm uh, saying you shouldn't constantly comment. In fact, more commenting is better than less or no commenting. Okay, so if you feel better commenting loads, uh, comment loads. Don't just not comment. Uh, so here I'll just quickly comment this, just so we know what's going on. You you normally wouldn't comment this, so I'm just gonna do this because we're beginning. Um, so I'm gonna say necessary to give oops, text to the standard output flow generally the console okay and okay also um, I forgot to mention any C++ program uh, you want to run must have a main function and the main main function is where everything starts okay so uh, if there's no main function then um, the, you can't run the program okay so uh, by having this um, int main here and then these two parentheses uh, sorry curly braces uh, we say this uh, file will be able, you will be able to run this file, this uh, load of code. Um, now in between these braces, we're just going to say return zero. Now uh, remember when I was talking about function headers, I said you have to have a return type, uh, a name, and a pair of parentheses. Well, uh, return type, yeah, it was an int, um, and we're not going to go into uh, hop into variables quite just yet but basically an int is an integer which is any whole value uh, so by doing this we are returning an integer value and when you return a value you end the function so as soon as we meet this um, this command the whole program will finish because remember the main function is where the program begins it must also be where the program ends. So all our code is going to go in front of this return zero statement. Now just uh, to prevent, um, not that this should ever happen though, uh, just to prevent uh, the likelihood of it happening, you don't actually have to have the return zero statement there. If there's no return zero statement, the compiler will automatically input one at the end of your main function for you. Um, so you don't have to put that there. You can if you want, though. It's entirely optional. I'm going to put it there just uh, so everything is entirely clear. Okay, now uh, we're going to move on. And uh, again, I'm just spacing out my code so it looks more clear. And just type in this. Uh, oops. Now let's let's just go back there. Okay, here we can see, uh, after I type std colon colon, a whole bunch of things have uh, popped up. And uh, I'm not going to cover this quite yet, we'll cover it uh, just a few seconds later. 
but um, basically, uh, this std colon colon thing uh, contains a lot of things you can use. That's all I'm going to say for the moment. Uh, anyway, std c out um, hello world. And okay, and I'm just gonna copy and paste this quick. And rather than having it that way, I'm just gonna do it this way. Uh, now, believe it or not, these two statements will do exactly the same thing. You can probably guess uh, this is something to do with outputting text, and it's gonna output hello world. Uh, if you got any brains, you can probably um, recognize this means end line, uh, as in uh, you press return like that. And this forward slash, backward slash, end, sorry, also represents uh, uh, an, a press of return. Um, there are a lot of uh, backward slash uh, characters, like for instance, there's a backward slash T, which uh, represents a press of tab, as in tab there. Rather than doing that, I could just put backward slash t there. Um, you can look those up if you want. For the moment, we're just going to be using backward slash n. Um, and now, um, okay, we're going to cover, go back to this std thingy. Basically, what, what, what's happening here is, uh, we are using this uh, C out um, to output whatever's after these two lesson signs and in this case we're outputting a string literal which is text li literally text between quotes so literal text, a string literal uh, you should probably know what a string is, it's basically just a, a load of characters put together a, a string of characters. Um, now this is called the output operator and we use it to uh, send things to C out. So we can't we can't just use this. That won't work. We need the output operator here to send it into count or C out, which will then uh, send it out onto the standard output flow. Um, and STD is uh, called a namespace where C out lives and a namespace is basically just an area of code in which uh, a lot of uh, things that do stuff are contained um, you can in fact make your own namespace we'll maybe cover that later um, but anyway yeah so it's basically just an area of code which contains things that do stuff and in this case, it contains something that outputs text to the standard output flow. And also here, uh, it en it uh, simulates or presses a return key. Uh, okay, now um, in Dev C++, you'll need to compile and run. There's a little button. There's well, there's four buttons up here in Dev C++. You can just hover over them and see the description that comes up to work it out. Now in Visual C++ we need to click Build Build Solution, uh, and down here it's going to show the building of the solution. So uh, if we just wait, I'll wait for it to finish. Uh, compiling, uh, compiling manifest, all that linking. So the two, excuse me, the two main parts of uh, compiling is the compiling and then the linking. So what the compiling does is it converts this code, because all uh, machine code is basically binary, I believe. I think it's binary anyway. Uh, so basically the compiling just turns this code into binary, if I'm correct that machine code is binary. Uh, then the linking just links all files. So say we were referencing some outside file, it would link that file. Uh, and yeah. That's it, really. Don't need to go over embedding manifest or anything. All we all we really need to look at here is this one succeeded, and if if it failed to compile, then it will be 